Hello everyone, uh, <clears throat> today I just wanted to make a Native Instruments Massive patch in Ocelot or something like it. <clears throat> of course, to make exactly the same thing would be uh, not exactly possible in Ocelot, I don't think, but um, we can make something that is uh, functions about the same anyways. Um, so the first thing, of course, obviously, standard procedure now, uh, MIDI to CV gate, um, and then they have this oscillator here that is called the, uh, Osmorph, which is a wavetable oscillator, and it basically, uh, massive functions around wavetable oscillators. Um, they're a lot more complicated than this one, but just uh, what a wavetable oscillator is, is it allows you to uh, morph between uh, waveforms, sometimes two, sometimes more. In this case, there's three. And I think we'll have one of these as well, just because this is um, pretty much the nicest oscillator in... Uh, in Ocelot, and I guess uh, Massive has three oscillators, and so we'll have two of these and one of those. And uh, let's see, what else do we need? Well, let's see, we'll need a uh, uh, FM oscillator as well. Which I'm not entirely sure how to go about routing this uh, to be applied the same as it would be in Massive, but uh, we'll get to that. <coughs> and actually, let's just uh, track everything down a little bit so that we have some room. Um, yeah, I'm <coughs> really OCD about my uh, Ocelot and my Max. Uh, patches. So let's see. Um, next, I guess, would be the filter section. And we'll use this uh, special variable frequency filter because it's a really nice filter. And we'll just have two of those. And in my massive patches, I like to, uh, I like to route every, or my I like to route my uh, filters usually in serial rather than in parallel, and I almost I almost always route my massive patches that way. Um, so I'll just do that here. If you wanted to, you could probably you would just um, and we'll need one anyways for these oscillators. But you would use a mixer. In this case, the this is the perfect one. But yeah, you could just use <coughs> a mixer and take the signal of each of them and uh and and output it like that and that's how you could run these in parallel if you wanted to um but i don't want to i want to run them in uh serial so we're just going to use this over here to uh put our um oscillators together um Let's see, what's next? Um, I guess the next obvious thing would be we need a couple um, envelopes. And we'll also use uh, an LFO. Yeah, and the reason we'll use LFO A is because you can't sync LFO B. Um, it's just frequency controlled, which is fine, but... Uh, I like being able to sync my LFOs in Massive. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. And um, let's see some other things in Massive that might be useful. Uh, I usually use the distortion <coughs> at the end. Um, let's see what else is in there. Uh, I like the Redux. Redux is fun. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, there's <clears throat> there's all kinds of stuff in here. We'll get the ring modulator. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here that you have in Massive as well. Uh, it's just how how much do you really want to get carried away? Um, I wish there was a, a means of routing, um, and there might be in the logic, I, I haven't really looked at it that well, but I wish there was a means of routing, um, uh, like for instance a bunch of these modules into something like a, a mixer where you can turn the effects of the modules on and off uh, without having to unplug the routing. Uh, because doing it in the real world, unplugging the, the cable and um, <clears throat> plugging it back in, that's pretty simple in the real world, but in here it can be a lot more complicated. Um, just because you have things going every which way and, and they all look identical and they're not, um, you know, a physical cable that you can just set next to the output anyways. So it'd be nice to have, <clears throat> you know, like a... a a bank where you can route a whole bunch of things in and out and turn those things on and off there and that might exist here in the logic I don't really know but I'll have to look at it anyways um, uh, let's see what else could we use <clears throat> I mean you could there's a bunch of this stuff in here but I think for the most part I think that's everything I would put a reverb here too at the end to act like the dimension expander because pretty much everybody uses that in massive at the end and then we'll just need a VCA and an output pretty standard stuff okay <clears throat> so then we'll look at first of all let me get everything nice and tidy and then we'll look at uh, how to patch all this together um, the redux is going to be before the distortion because the distortion is usually one of the last things and the very last thing will be the reverb the reverb <coughs> okay so I think that's pretty much all set up like Usually you have your massive. <clears throat> now, let's see. Uh, okay, so just right off the bat, we'll take our pitch control to each of the oscillators. And velocity and gate to this envelope. And, uh, and let's see now, um, this is going to be our gain, so we'll just plug that into there. Um, for now, I'll just have this as a... Uh, <coughs> High pass, low pass filter. Something like that. Just to let the signal through nice and clean for now. Um, let's see. Uh, then we'll take the outputs or oscillators and mix them into this mixer. And then we'll take the output of the mixer into the input of the first filter. <coughs> And then that will go into the input of the next filter. And then from there, we're going to go into the ring modulator. From the ring modulator to the redux. From the redux, we're going to go into uh, the distortion. And then from the distortion, we're actually going to go into our <coughs> our VCA because um, we don't want to go into the reverb and then out to audio. When we go into the reverb, you get a left and a right audio channel, so that that or a left and a right signal that goes into our audio channel. So um, 
we actually have to go into the VCA first in order to apply this um, this gate to the um, uh, this envelope gate envelope. Uh, well, I should say this is this gate gain envelope. Yes. Okay. So, anyways, then from there we'll go into the reverb and then out to the Ableton. Okay. So now. <clears throat> should be a nice basic massive sound and actually we can turn off these oscillators for now oh yeah so that actually does sound quite nice coming from but there's like a weird pulsy sound and it must have something to do I don't know that's really weird though Somebody will have to tell me. Anyways, we'll turn this right down to 432. And then, I don't know, can we tune these? Hmm. Well, hold on a sec. What is that tune? It's probably semitones. It is. So that's not going to uh, be useful. Ooh, yay, pulse width. Um, well, all of a sudden, I like this oscillator so much less, so if it were my patch, because I like to work in 432, <coughs> I would, uh, swap these out now for some more oscillator A's, and here, let's mix some, uh, let's mix some square wave in with the saw. I'm not sure what the heck where that weird oscillation is coming from, and it's making me think that it's... Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. The ring modulator had a little tiny, tiny little, like, maybe, I don't know, one hertz? I don't freaking know. It was so small that I didn't even see it, but that's where that was coming from. Anyways. sounding pretty much like massive 
Um, and then I think it'll be kind of fun here. <coughs> This is our friend, the inverter. of respace in uh in ocelot i mean that's that's pretty much it right there and um here's the patch uh we're not really using this frequency modulator we're not using the ring modulation we're not really using the redux but other than that there it is we're not even using this envelope to tell you the truth but yeah there it is <laughs> 